Hello, I'm Ben Bambozo and this is... Outlander Delivers! Oh, not Travels for Slash this one. Travels. Slash Travels. yeah. Check out her YouTube channels. Um, this is our first time camping. Uh, so a couple of weeks ago... Actually, I'll tell you what, what gave me the idea for this. It was when um, I had a puncture and I was on the side of the road and a guy very kindly stopped to help me change my wheel. <laughs> and um, he was saying that he thought that I should have bought a camper van. Um, so when I'm doing my, because I told him what I did for a living, and he said when I'm doing my gigs, I could just go and stay at places. And that sort of got my mind thinking... Um, to not get a camper van. To not get a camper van, yeah. Maybe, but now I'm thinking maybe we should have got a camper van. Anyway, camper vans are expensive. So next best thing, we bought a tent. Um, I've been doing a lot of research on it. Hopefully my research might have paid off. We'll find out whether we've got a good tent or a bad tent when we put it up. Um, I've bought, for anyone who's interested in tents, I've bought the Van Gogh Cragmore 400, <laughs> um, which is in the back here. Uh, I've also got all my Punch and Judy gear and magic stuff in the back as well. But there still seems to be a lot of gear in the back. I thought that we'd travel quite lightly, but there's a hell of a lot of stuff in the back. And we've got another new weapon tomorrow. Ah, uh, yes, but we'll do that on another video, yeah. I've bought something else to go in the tent which hasn't arrived yet. Yeah, which is also quite big. Um... So yeah, uh, we've just come to a campsite which is actually just down the road from us in Worthing um, in Eccleston Farm. Eccleston Farm near Angmering. Uh, we've just checked in. The weather is horrible today. Um, I was doing a Punch and Judy show on the beach this morning and it was really nasty. Um, they're saying gusts of about 36 miles an hour, is it 39 miles an hour? 36, I think. 36. Um, so we'll see how the tent holds up in that as well. There's quite a few tents though here. Um, Not in this field we're in, the other field had a few. Yeah, I'll show you around. We've just pulled up, I've tried to pick a spot that's reasonably flat. The further up the hill we go, um, the more sort of uh, of a slope it is. So I think if we go on this nice flat bit here. We've got Dutch neighbours. Well, I'm assuming they're Dutch. They've got a Land Rover with a Dutch number plate on it. So we're going to assume they're Dutch. little girl will be bringing Izzy next weekend. Yeah, if we come back girl. here, yeah. Well, you're, I love your. I, I'm. I'm not that. I'm. I'm sort of ready to go home. Um, but Atlanta's convinced it's all going to be good. So anyway, let's show you around and let's get the tent out and get pitching before it starts raining again. It let's sort of stops the at the moment. Up. Yeah. This is the spot where we're going to pitch our tent, right here. And let's just show you around the field. They've got two big. They've got two fields here. We're in the smaller of the fields. Um, the toilets and showers are just down there. The other out later. Field had a lot more tents. Yes, there was more tents in the other field, which is supposed to be like the family field, but it's not exactly busy, is it? Anyway, let's get our tent out of the car and get pitching. Okay, so about 35 minutes later, which I don't think is too bad, is it? No. Um, tent. No. Uh, we have what looks like a tent, and it has been a bit windy as well. Um, we've just, no, we're not finished. We've just put the inner tent in. Um, so here it is. This is our sleeping quarters. It's quite cool. It's even got um, windows. No, Covers? curtains. Mm -hmm. I didn't know it had. Um, so you can either have your glass windows so you can see through, or you can have your privacy and put those up. And um, we've rolled, kept the ground sheet rolled back there. The ground sheet is attached to the um, inner tent. And now we're going to put in the, air the air mattress out and our, all our bedding and everything. But yeah, there it is. Let me give you a little walk around the back. Um, it's not too difficult to put together. I think if next time I do it, it's going to be a hell of a lot easier. Um, nice big air vent on the back here. Um, yep, yeah, that's the air mat. We've got the Shangri-La 10 air mat. Let me show you there. And it's a self-inflating air mat. So let's get it in the tent and get it self-inflating. There's plenty of um, air around, so it should go up easily. <laughs> Right, so the double mat is in there, and it's, a, as I say earlier, it's a self-inflating one, so I've, I've switched the valves. Can you just lift it up a second so we can see the valves, Atlanta? What? Give it a little lift up, just so we can see oh. the valves on the mat. So there we go, so I've got those set to, that is set to inflate, isn't it? I don't know. I think so. I'll double check it in a minute. So. so there's two valves, um, two sides, so I'll just leave that um, to inflate. Atlanta is just hanging all the lights up. We've got our table here. Oh yeah, show us the cute light. Yeah, I can see it through the mesh on the video here. So I've got a little light up there. There's one up there as well. One up here, yeah. That's a hanging point for a light there as well. So I've got a light there too. Put one to the side as well. We've got these on Amazon. 
we're not going to want the strobe light on there. Um, yeah, we're setting up our table, got our table with our chairs, box with all our bits and pieces in. I've got the little OEX stove there as well, so we can make a cup of tea in a bit, but I'm going to have a beer first. And yeah, we've got some neighbours coming, they're just setting up a tent over there. And quite impressed so far. How do you feel, Atlanta, so far? Good. So far, so good? Yeah. It's actually quite warm. I've taken my jacket off as well. So I've got my Crocs down there too, so we don't get it all muddy in here. I should have brought some mats to put down, which I've got. I'll bring those next time. Um, yeah, so all going well. First time camping is going good. And it's currently not raining at the moment either, which has really helped in terms of setting things up. Definitely wouldn't be much fun chucking down with rain. Yesterday I came up with an idea of buying a, well, getting a box and filling it up with useful bits and pieces like a little washing up sink and stuff. And we've got a bottle opener, which I'm now going to crack open a bottle of beer to christen, to declare, to christen the tent, declare the tent officially open. <laughs> Cheers. So we're just trying out the bedding. <laughs> we've got, I've also bought, I've bought everything Van Gogh basically so far. So we've got the Van Gogh tent, the Van Gogh Sh Shangri-La 10 um, double mattress, the inflate, the self-inflating mattress. And this is also the Van Gogh Radiate um, sleeping bag. So you can actually hook this up to a power pack and then it becomes, uh, it's got a heated blanket element in the bottom. Um, so it warms your feet up. So I bought the single one, but it, we've, what we've done is we've used our duvet from home as a base, as a sheet. And then we're using this, I've opened the sleeping bag right up, unzipped it right up and it opens up into basically a double, a okay. double duvet. Yeah. Um, so we're just trying it, it's warm, isn't it? It's very, we're very snug as a bug in a rug here. And it's not turned on either. It's just no, we've not even got it. the, I'm, I'm actually sweating at the moment. <laughs> um, and we're, we're just uh, in the living compartment and we just zip the door up. I'll just flip the camera around and show you what it's like with the door. Um, up. But it, they've got like blackout material in here. I know it looks quite bright in here at the moment. It but, is but daylight. That's, yeah, it's daylight. And we've also got the front door open as well. Um, but I think with the front door closed, it's going to be pretty pretty dark in here. I don't think you'd yeah. be woken up too much. Um, but I'll flip it around and show you. In my bed, um, that's with the mesh all zipped up. As you can see, you've got big air vents at the top there our light hanging up there um yeah we haven't done the front up yet no we've not not done the front up yet um but that the front has also got a mesh you can either have it done up or you can zip it down to just have mesh through the front as well which would be very nice um and also we've got the curtains up on the windows as well so if you want to let more light in you can also do that as well so yeah it's gonna be fun our first night sleeping in here is gonna be fun we need to get out of bed now really we can't lie in bed now really um yeah we need to go and have a little look around and check yeah. out the showers and the toilets and everything and have a little look around the site before it gets dark just come to check out the facilities Atlanta's going for a wee uh they got the showers here um simple but it looks all right there you go your shower in there looks all right Toilets, sinks, um, I'm not sure what that electric's for. Oh, is that electric for, oh, there's plugs there as well. Okay, so you could, in theory, charge your phone there for a minute. Mm, yeah, it's all right, that'll do. A nice picture in the toilet. There is a nice picture as well. Very nice and clean and tidy, isn't it? Yeah. There, there is another block over the back as well. Oh, no. Um, yeah. Decent. Oh, have you said about the shop as well? Oh, there's, oh yeah, no, there's a shop as well. Yeah. And apparently there's also a bouncy castle when the weather was nice as well. Which we're just, van, we're just going to... Oh yeah, what was it, a pizza van? I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm going to have a picture in there. Okay. Oh, What's in there, eh? There's little piggies. Aw, oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ask yeah. how much we paid. I think it was £28, was it, for two nights? Yeah. Something like that. Was it 38 Maybe it was 38 Possibly 38 Possibly for two 38 nights. for two nights, yeah, with, and that's without power as well, but yeah. I think that's okay, it's cheaper than the hotel, isn't it? Nice hours. Yeah. For a little walk to the, they've got a little on-site shop where you check in. Not um, pricey either. No, it's pretty good, and they've got everything, they've got really not good little, not a lot in there, but good little bits and pieces that you actually want, so Atlanta's got a pot noodle for dinner, <laughs> and then we have got £3. a... £3.60 Yeah, that's alright then. One twenty each. Um... I'm just saying that uh, if you don't want electric on your pitch, then there's sort of no problem with availability. They've even got a little overflow field. Yeah, it is. 
Um, oh yeah, that's the uh, drinking water there. I'll just show you. So, sort of not far from our um, tent is a drinking water tap. So that's good when we can go and get some water. So we're just over there. To film our little walk. Yeah, I forgot to show you around the field. And the shop. And we found the bouncy castle and the football. Yeah. Goal. Yeah. I can always show that tomorrow or something. Yeah. yeah. But we're just walking back to the tent. We're just saying how good it looks. It matches the colour of the car very well as well, actually. And everyone hit the subscribe button. Oh, yeah. Make, yeah, wow. if you're enjoying the video, hit like, hit subscribe. Um, there'll be plenty more camping content coming up, I'm sure, hopefully. Maybe in um, different uh, countries, too. Really? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Gap in the hedge. Let's have a little look here. Then there's this tree. Oh, it's amazing. And... Oh, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> Go on, sit on it. No, it doesn't feel that thick. Oh no, that's not the thickest of rope, is it? For Izzy she's light. It's not also the thickest of branches. Look no, at the branch. I, I sat on it and I'm like, oh. <laughs> Let's go down here. Where does this go down to? I think here. it's that loop that she was talking about. Oh, really? Yeah. It goes into oh, so you've got nice walks here. Really nice walks. That's the house we drove off on. Yep. And I think that goes around to the other field. It's a big loop. Ah, lovely. Yeah. You're really um, out the way here. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> We're pot loving it. Time. <laughs> okay. All right. Pot noodle. Okay. It's made us dinner using um, the uh, hot water boiler. It's made by a company called OEX. Uh, so that's there. It boils water incredibly quickly. Um, it actually boiled over <laughs> and spilt a little bit of water on the table. Atlanta's got a pot noodle yep. and I've got a huel um, inside here which I like to leave. I've got the um, spaghetti carbonara which I brought with me from home so I'm going to leave that for 10 minutes. I find the longer you leave it the better so I'm going to carry on drinking my beer and we've also got some strawberries for later and oh you bought your roses as well, a box of roses. Yep yeah. and we've opened up the mesh blind here and yeah, all good. Happy? Yep. <laughs> Still happy. And we went to the charity shop earlier and Atlanta bought some games as well, which we may or not play, may or may not play later. We shall see. Tomorrow, oh yeah, we're here tomorrow. Fortunately, I've got work tomorrow. Um, I've got to go up to Walthamstow very, very early to do a balloon modeling workshop. Um, so I'm gonna have to get up really early. I might actually have a shower tonight because I think it'd be nicer to have a shower in the evening rather than when it's freezing cold in the yeah, morning true. especially the time that i've got to be up i don't know i'll have to work out what time i need to be up but it's going to be early so i think i might have the shower tonight and get that out of the way mm. uh should i have a, i do like a shave in a sink as well so um like a proper wet shave that's the one wet shave um so i might do that morning, i did have one this morning but i shave every day yeah. um, i'm very manly you see very masculine so <laughs> I don't want a beard. Plus, also, if I have a very prickly beard, my balloon, my balloon modelling workshop, it might make the balloons go pop on my beard. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, anyway, got to eat my dinner now. So, we are playing games in the tent. Um, we're playing uh, Blackjack 21. So, I'm going to stick. Me too. Okay, what you got? 21. Oh, God, I got 16. Mm -hmm. Okay. You <laughs> Ben's win. been winning the whole time. Right, go again. One let's more, let's do another more. hand for okay. the video. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I'm picking up. <laughs> I'm sticking. Okay, I'm picking up again. Do you win if you've got less cards? No. I guess you do. Right. Oh, does I'm it not sticking. work? Well? Okay. What you got? Uh, twenty-one. Ah, nineteen. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> now Ben needs the toilet. Oh yeah, I do need a wee. And then strawberries. Oh yeah, strawberries. Yeah. Yep. And I'm gonna wash up my pot as well. Oh yeah, make a cup of tea as well. Yeah. So this is the OEX water boiler. There's that flame under there. It screws onto the gas. Uh, it seems to boil water about as quick as the kettle, even though I've only got a cup full in there. I've just put it on and already starting to get there. I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. I drink green tea, by the way. And then we're going to have our strawberries for dessert. Oh, I can hear it boiling. It is going like a kettle. 
pretty ferocious, isn't it, Atlanta? Yeah. <laughs> and it overspills everywhere. Yeah. So Atlanta's just gone into the bedroom to get into bed. And as you can see, I can just about see the fairy lights through her, but through through her, through there. Um, but I can't see her, but yet she can see me quite clearly. Look, Atlanta, send me a video of you inside there, and then I'll put that in so you can see what it looks like of me. Oh, I, can I see you? No, I, I can't really. Um, but you can see me crystal clear. Yeah. Of me. Oh, I, can I see you? No, I can't really. <laughs> Um, but you can see me crystal clear. Yeah, I can see you and you can't see that I'm eating chocolate roses right now. <laughs> Give me a wave. Hello. But you I, can't see I me. can't see you at all. It's no. so weird. No, I think maybe once it gets a bit darker out here, maybe I'll, I will be able to. Once it goes darker out here, then I'm going to be able to see you in there. But at the moment when it's daylight, I can't see it's you. It's so strange. Mm. Morning. Oh, I look a bit tired, don't I? It is 5am. Unfortunately, I've had to set the alarm to get up for work. I forgot to finish the vlog off last night. I went and had a shower and uh, got into bed and yeah, slept pretty well. It has been very windy during the night, um, so that's woke me up a couple of times. But apart from that, it's been all good. It certainly wasn't cold. In fact, it was probably too hot a lot of the time. I was sweating. Anyway, just been and brushed my teeth. <laughs> um, gonna go back to the tent now and make my porridge. Um, which I'll show you. I probably won't talk too much because Atlanta's still in bed. And then I've got to get in the car and drive to London to Walthamstow to do balloon modelling, which I'm not looking forward to. Anyway, here we are going back to the tent. It's only just starting to get daylight. It's 5 a.m. Uh, but it's a grey day. There's rain in the air. I think the wind is supposed to die down today, so I'm expecting it to be a nicer night tonight. Um, I don't think it's supposed to be windy tonight. There's a VW camper turned up over there as well. still standing. I dropped Atlanta back off at home, um, she got back into bed and I drove up to Walthamstow in London, got here for about 8 o'clock-ish. Uh, so I'm going to go and do my job, I think I finish at 12-ish, so hopefully I'll be back home I reckon about 2, 2.30 or so. Um, the weather's horrible here, hopefully it's a bit nicer back there, I'm hoping the tent's not getting completely soaked. Um, I've checked the forecast, looks okay. If it is okay, we might be able to squeeze a barbecue in this evening, we'll see. Uh, but that's very much weather dependent. We're back, well she's back, <laughs> and we're back at the tent at last. Um, I got home from my shirt about 2.30 and now it is now, what time is it? It's late now, isn't it? It's now, well it's 10 to 6 already. We've been um, busy. Yeah, we've been busy getting stuff, we've been shopping. It hasn't stopped raining all day, but the tent seems to have remained dry, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, we've got some new neighbours who've pitched up very close next door to us. Um, and there's another tent over the back that's arrived as well. And I've also got something new to go in the, well, two new things to go in the tent. I've brought a smaller table because I've got a four foot table and that's too big for this tent. So I've got a little two foot table. I think it's about two foot that I'm gonna put in the tent now. And also something very, very special, which may or may not work. It might be an expensive mistake if it doesn't work, but let's have a go for our sleeping quarter tonight, which might make us too hot. Little clue there. Right, here we go. I'm gonna get it um, inflated. <laughs> This is the addition to the tent. It is a Krua cocoon. Um, <laughs> insulated in a tent. Uh, I'm just slightly worried that we're going to be far too warm in this. I've put the, uh, the Van Gogh Shangri-La air mat. It just about squeezes inside there. Um, it's an inflatable inner tent that goes in there. Um, it's definitely going to mean we can go camping later on in the season because we just had a little go in there and it gets incredibly warm in there. I think it might be too hot. What? Oh, we've got the food. Yep. Um, got our barbecue stuff we're going to get ready in a second. I'll get the table up and get the barbecue on, I think. Yep. Assembled 
our bucket barbecue. Um, I didn't realise quite how small it's going to be with that big bag of charcoal in there. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> Hunter seems to be at home in the um, in the pod. <laughs> barbecue out and it could really do with being a bit bigger. I think one of these self-lighting bags uh, you'd probably get two out of this. Uh, <laughs> it's not actually a huge amount of room to fit all the stuff on here. Um, I've got all the sausages on, Atlanta's pork barbecue things, skewers and the two burgers. Uh, hopefully they'll cook okay on there. Sounds like they are. Barbecue is pretty decent isn't it? What do you reckon? Mine's all gone. Yeah, that's all gone, yeah. Good. And now we have cheesy sausages. Cheesy sausages, yeah. We had some cheese left over with the cheese slices, so put them on the sausages as well as the burger. I might actually just eat sausages. Hmm, okay. <laughs> then, then strawberries again. Oh yeah, got two planets. Mm. One each. No, can't do <laughs> that. I might make a cup of tea as well. Day, the lady at the shop told us that there's a little walk, like a loop that you can do <laughs> around the campsite. Um, so we're just doing that now. We've been walking for about 20 minutes or so. Yeah. Uh, but it's nice, isn't it? It's really nice. I, was, I said I wasn't convinced on the idea yeah. of a walk, but I'm really enjoying it. Yeah. It's very nice. We don't fully know where we're going, though. Some I've checked, some, checked on Google Maps. Apparently, we're 20 minutes away. There's a couple of very posh houses back there, isn't there? Very nice. Oh, look at that. Let me see if it's Sunset with the corn, cornfield there. Beautiful. Look at that. Lovely. Loads of bunny rabbits. Did you not see the horse? Yeah. Huh. Okay. Huh. What? God, what a beautiful horse. Yeah. Oh. That is one lovely horse. Very, very well kept. I didn't even notice the horse. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, Atlantis fallen over, fallen the first hurdle, and like the horse. That is a very, very good looking horse. <laughs> huh. Imagine living in that windmill. Imagine just living up here, it'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Oh, there's another horse over there, look, can you see it? It's very, very well. Um, camouflaged. Little baby one. Little miniature horse. This one's just a poser, this one, I think. To the top here, and I think that is the sea in front of us over there. Worthing must be over there somewhere. Mm. Unless that is Worthing there. That's the light, um, lighthouse windmill. I'm assuming that is a windmill. It is a, win it is a windmill, isn't it? it? Of course it is. It's got to be. What? That, what? that building? Yeah. Yeah, it's an old windmill, isn't it? It's got to be. Behind Atlanta here is a little sign that says footpath, which we think is the bit with the swing. It is the swing bit, and our tent will be just through here. That was a. That was a lovely little walk. Yeah. I'm gonna have another cup of tea now and some roses. Oh, hello. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, back at the campsite, I can smell the fires burning. Drink <laughs> another cup of tea before bed. You can see the ferociousness of it <laughs> in the dark. Just sitting in the porch eating roses. <laughs> Living the life. Mm. Very nice. Just gonna do the washing up in a bit. Then get ready for bed. 
Do remind me to update the vlog when we get into the cocoon. I call it the cocoon. Comment your favourite rose. Mine is orange. I like that hazelnut. That was lovely. It was nice. Mm. Good morning from inside the cocoon. <laughs> um, God, I slept very well last night. I slept as well as I uh, normally do at home. Um, I've got to say, this is fantastic being in in, uh, in this. It is very temperature regulating. Um, had all the vents open on it. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see too well on the camera because it's very, very dark in here. It's quite a quite a weird experience because when, as soon as you get in here, with all with, because it's like so thick and everything doesn't let any light through at all apart from the vent areas um, and obviously at night time and it's dark anyway so it was really pitch pitch black like it's in, not, not normally in an environment where you're in in complete and utter darkness um but yeah extremely comfortable i've just noticed the difference i've just undone the zip at the front and you can feel the the temperature difference between in here to out there um yeah, I definitely think this is going to extend the amount of time we can go camping. So there's the door at the end, and I had the vents open here, here, one on the side here, and one behind me there. And um, you've also got a door on the side there that you can open up as well. Um, yeah, very, very impressed with the crew uh, insulated inner tent. So I'm going to get up now, um, go and have a shower get ready and then we've got to pack away. I forgot to buy porridge but I think they might sell it in the shop. I might go and have a look when I go for my shower. Uh, yeah, then we've got to pack up and go home. I've got some porridge from the shop. Well, two porridges. Um, the instant one that you just add the boiling water to and there's apple, banana and cinnamon in there as well. Coffee. And just chilling in the pod again. That seems to be your spot now, chilling in the pod. You're like a little turtle, you just poke your head out the pod <laughs> and can go back into your shell. It has commenced, I've now put away all the insides of the tent and there's the colour interior pod. Um, that's our Van Gogh inflatable mat and that's the sleeping bag there as well. So now I'm going to take out the inner tent and then drop the outer tent. And just like that, it is all packed away and done. Just a little bit of um, light green grass where we used to be. There's St Lanta in the car. I'm just going to go and get rid of the rubbish and the barbecue. So thank you for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please hit like and subscribe. Let us know if you want to see any more camping content or if there's anything about uh, camping in particular you want to see. We're planning on going to various different campsites around the country. Let us know um, good campsites yeah. if you're still watching. Yeah, leave comments with good campsites. Um, for us to go to. Uh, we'll definitely check them out. We want good and cheap as well. That's what we're mm. looking for, ideally. Or if anybody wants us just to come and review and their child friends, so we can do that. Well. Yeah, child friendly ones as well. Yep. Um, and that's it, really. Yeah. So thank you very much for watching. Did you enjoy camping? I did. Yeah, loved it. Can't wait for next time. Bye bye, everybody. Yay.